catfish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the angle. Who did we just talk to? I, Lauren, look at my face. And then you get. Oh. <laughs> Number one, I got really drunk in that video. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Good morning everyone, hey it's Keegan, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to Alabama to visit my best friend Lauren, I'm so excited. It is Wednesday, it's about 8ish p.m. a.m. a.m. 8 a.m. I'm about to make breakfast and then leave for the airport. <laughs> I just landed in Birmingham and now I'm gonna go meet up with Lauren. I'm so excited. It smells like rain. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Should I just open the door maybe? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I did not know you were right in front of me this yeah, whole time. Me neither. <laughs> I was like, okay, let me go to baggage, baggage claim too. And then I was like, wait a second. I was like, I was like, she's so far. And then I was like, I, I thought you were pranking me. <laughs> we made it to P.F. Chang's because we're both starving. We're uh, so hungry. This is our place now. It's our place. I hope we sit at the same table. I do Then too. it'll really be our place. No, it really And is. if we don't, then it won't. <laughs> the thing is, it will. <laughs> we literally ate our food so fast that we didn't even get vlog footage of it, either of us. I was so hungry. <laughs> we inhaled it. It was so good, though. We're full now, but we're going to go to Trader Joe's to get the chocolate frozen croissants. They're so freaking good. I'm so excited for you to try them. No, she is like the Trader Joe's queen. And so when she was like, oh, you have to get these chocolate croissants, I said, girl, are so we are good. going to get the chocolate covered or chocolate croissants. I hope they have them. Is, is yeah. that a Peloton store? They really have everything here. We're trying now to get photos to tell people we're together. And we always try to do Obby. these complex things where we put a lot of thought into I it. Look, if you go like right here. I know, that's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? Like that type of vibe? Yeah. I'm trying to take a photo of the kid. Honestly, why can I not squat like this? What do you people think we're doing right now? They probably are like, who are these girls? But like, put it in between us, possibly. So like, I'm on this side and you're on that side. Yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, that's as good as it's gonna get, honestly. Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna save it. Put on, take one like that on the camera so we can oh, have God. it for Instagram or thumbnails. I'm falling over, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. These are them, you guys. They're so good. So there's four of them. Okay, so we grabbed two of them. <laughs> we should get two boxes or yeah. we, okay, yeah, as we should. Because if we need more, we'll have okay. more. Oh, there we go. Oh my oh. gosh. Good morning, you guys. We're literally arranging this. Like you're sitting under a blanket and a pom-pom on a window. <laughs> Your hands are so dark. <laughs> Lauren let me self tan last night. I feel like once you rinse it off, you scrub it, and then you put your makeup on, I think it'll look good. I think I'm probably just not used to as dark of a tanner that you use. Is that the one that you normally use? Yes, but no at the same time. Like, I will rinse this off and apply it immediately again. Oh my god, Lauren. <laughs> See, my hands are so okay, much darker. Yeah, your legs and everything look good. That's a good tan. This? Not good. Yeah, the hand I'm, is in I'm it. scrubbing the hands. <laughs> yeah, I scrub the hands. Yeah. Anyways, it is the next morning. We went to bed. We slept in. What time did you set the alarm for? 9.30 and it's not 11. Yeah, I set the alarm because I'm like, oh, like maybe we'll be up, maybe we won't, like maybe it'll just like give us a gauge of time. No, we turned it off instantly. Yeah. The alarm went off, I was like, how do I turn this off? Keegan was like, um, and I was like, oh, that's the hatch. And she was like, I turned it off. <laughs> right now we're making the croissants. Can I show them how big it yes. is? Yes. I just got so excited. Dude, the I literally so big. had to record Lauren's reaction on my phone because it was so funny. Look at them. They're huge. They were like this big. Big before they're huge. Lauren's recording L. Your arms are no. so No. <laughs> Should I just go shower right now? No, 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 no. You're fine. It's cute. Really? <laughs> you're like me. <laughs> me. Oh stop. You almost made drop my croissant. <laughs> Lauren's taking the croissants out. Baby L is staring at the little string. Oh, never mind. Every time I think that she's like over me, she's into it. You right. know what I mean? She's into me. She's playing hard to get. <laughs> I could do this for hours. She got it. She got it. I could literally do this all day. Are you going after it? She's like, it's too easy. <laughs> She's like, I don't know y'all's games. <laughs> Croissant reveal. Also, hand reveal. Hand looks better. It really does. Okay, better. I want to get your reaction eating this. Okay. I'm the crunch. Dude. Isn't it so good? Dude. Literally the sound. This tastes so good. You guys have to get them. 
We both just got ready and then we're gonna head out to brunch. This is the makeup, the outfit I'm wearing, this dress from Zara, and then I have these sneakers because I want it to be comfortable, but I feel like a tan goddess. Lauren also looks beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you're posing, I love it. Where's your outfit from? Abercrombie. <gasps> I love Abercrombie. I know, one of my favorite fashion bloggers posted about it and I was like, I need this. It reminds me kind of like of an American Girl doll. No. But like I kinda, I kinda vibe with it. You are like a real life American Girl doll though. <laughs> Where are we going to brunch again? Another brunch. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but I'm excited. It's really good. Really yummy, and they have the <gasps> Love. Thank you. I'm really bad at pouring things. I know that Okay, the trick to it? Oh. Uh, the angle. But also, what do I know? I know that looks a lot better than mine. It's honestly kind of heavy. Yeah, you need more? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We just got back from brunch. It was so yummy. It was so good. So we had a couple of mimosas. So interpret that as you will. If you guys have seen the truth or drink video, you know my tolerance is so different than Lauren's. Yeah, it's very <laughs> different. So interpret how I'm feeling as you will. But we were sitting in this little corner, which was so great because there was people staring at us when we were trying to take our Instagram photos. <laughs> Beside the point, we were in this little corner and there was like a little pony wall basically behind Lauren. I was talking to Lauren and I looked up and there was this lady just staring at me. And I, I go, like I waved hi and she goes, do you work at the hospital? And I was like, N no, I, I don't. I forgot exactly what I said. And then she was like, oh, I thought you worked at the hospital. And the conversation kind of ended there. And then as we were walking out, her and all of her friends were staring at us. It was so weird. I'm not explaining this story very well. It was very awkward. Imagine like a little wall and then she was like staring. I was so confused. Keegan was like, Hello, I was like, who are you talking No, Lauren to? and I were just in the middle of a conversation and I go, hi. <laughs> and Lauren was like, who are you saying hi to? And there was like this lady just like staring at us. I don't know. Day, we took a nap and we were meaning to take like a 20 30 minute nap It was over an hour long yikes, but we're about to go to the wine market last time and we went in October We were like we're gonna dress really cute and then we dressed in like sweats and we were super comfy and we we're like Let's just do it again. Lauren and I are low-key matching. She got me the belt bag and then the Lulu scuba for my birthday Thank you, baby L also got it was it was a joint effort. It was it was like Cosmo and Wanda ain't slick ain't type of vibes slick. No, I love it. Oh, did I knock over my water? I mean, it was empty. Look at Lauren's little cups. <laughs> she says, "Are those real Hermes?" I was like, "Girl, no." I <laughs> some big plastic cups. <laughs> You're like Hermes does cricket. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, hello. I brought my camera and we're literally vlogging right now because I brought it and I didn't even realize that I brought it. So she was like, can I just drop this off? I was like, yeah, girl. And I was like, should I get a clip just to like just, use it at Yeah, Wembley? to make a point of like, hey, like I brought my camera for a reason. Okay, let's oh, go. We're let's about, anyways, we just went to the wine market. Now we're gonna go somewhere else. I don't know, but the wine market was good. Good morning everyone, it's the next day. What day is today? Friday! We just took some photos, now we're starving and we're gonna go get some lunch. I think we're gonna get some Chick-fil-A. Today is also Baby L's birthday. Baby L is Lauren's. I almost said it's your birthday. It's her cat. Yeah, baby L. We love baby L. So we're having a birthday party for her. By we, I mean Lauren, and I am invited. <laughs> You're the honorary guest. I'm I'm co-hosting. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we're really hungry, so we're just gonna get some food really quickly before people start coming over for the birthday party. Also, look at my cute pants. Just wanted to show you. everyone happy saturday i literally feel like i'm lauren right now vlogging in her apartment like at the angles that she would vlog and i literally feel like i'm like a mini lauren not mini like a wannabe lauren just in her apartment right now so we have a lot going on today right now lauren's in the shower and then her laundry's going if you hear that as well and then we're just gonna go to a coffee shop and work we don't really have that many plans yesterday i literally told lauren i was like i need to be a better youtuber i we barely got any footage yesterday because we barely did anything i'll give you a little recap of yesterday we had a little photo shoot we just 
just took some content photos together and then we came back to Lauren's apartment and we set up her birthday party for Elle but it was her first birthday yesterday so we had a birthday party for her and there were people over so we didn't really want to vlog because there was like also music and copyright and then we went out pretty much right after so yesterday was very go 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 and it was kind of a moment of like do we have time to film anything but now we're having a more relaxed day I don't know if you can hear it in my voice my allergies are at an all-time high I am like really allergic to cats and Lauren obviously has a cat who I love and I will be allergic to her I will happily have to like have a runny nose and itchy eyes and all that stuff just to play with a cute cat but it was really rough last night like I was not feeling well because of it I think we're just gonna go to a coffee shop we really don't know what we want to do today we didn't really make a plan and today's my last full day here tomorrow I go home which I'm so sad about I really hope that I have like a less traumatic experience coming home this time we also made more croissants because we love the croissants you guys but I'm gonna start editing more of my video because I need to have my video done for Monday and I barely started <laughs> Okay. Lauren and I both just showered. We feel like brand new people. You know that feeling when you just feel gross and then you shower and you feel like you've been baptized? That is how we feel. I'm also wearing the dress. You guys know I have this dress in three different colors. It's from Abercrombie. I'll link it down below. I'm obsessed with it though. I'm literally trying to get Lauren to buy one too. Oh my gosh. My face is kind of scaring me because my allergies. Lauren, look at my face. Why is it red? I think it's my allergies. Why is it getting like that? I don't know. My eyes like are really puffy. Like they're really itchy too. Do you want to stop by like a CVS and get like eye drops or something? You say you don't like eye drops? I don't know what to do. We've made it to the coffee shop. I got this drink and I wanted to try it. That is so good. Is it good? That is really good. It's really good. I'm excited. So we're gonna get some work done. We also got some lunch. I got this little like California club sandwich with some fruit and a mac and cheese. Lauren got a scrap. This is your favorite. Oh my god, I love your to-do list. Where'd you get it from? It's from the Keegan Active. I hate that girl. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, please enjoy a time lapse of me popping all of these balloons. Okay, are you ready for the moment of truth for the confettis? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm kind of scared too. Not wait to watch the video. Though. I am so excited. That didn't go as planned. Next up, I'm making Baby L a toy. <laughs> she may or may not have chewed the box already. That is also what I did. Baby L, hello. Everyone, the finished product. I think it looks good. It looks really cute. Sorry, I am no, a little bit. Why, why, you live here. Don't be sorry. <laughs> Baby Ella staring it down. She wants to play with it, but I think probably until we're done vacuuming. Or should I put, let her try it? She can try it. Okay, you ready? Watch this. Yeah, and you can move it with your paw. <gasps> Are you okay? I need to get over my cat allergy and get a cat. Yeah. This is too fun. I feel like she'll get the hang of eventually that she has to move it. Mm -hmm. She'll like watch us enough times. Get it, get it. Her little paws. Right. She'll get the hang of it eventually. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> but the box. <laughs> She's like the box, yeah. So I was showering today and I was thinking that we should do like a little Q&A portion of the video since we're not doing a separate video on our channels like we typically do. We just ran out of time. Yeah, we ran out of time and we couldn't even think of a video that we really wanted yeah. to do. So we thought we'd answer a couple of your questions. So if you're not following us on Instagram, do it. Someone wants to know, why hasn't Lauren come to your, as in me, college and state? It just doesn't make sense because I live with roommates and Lauren lives alone. So it's just so much easier for me to come here. Mm -hmm. But next year. Yeah, next year, I think it'll be a lot easier because 
because, like she said, I live by myself. You also have a cat. I have a cat. So it's like... A child. Right. We don't have to worry about figuring out someone else's schedule mm -hmm. and like having to work through all of that. And there's more space. Like I only have a bedroom and a bathroom where she has an entire apartment. Right. Like we can spread out and do whatever we want to do. But again, next year. Right. I want to visit and I'm going to visit. Just not in the summer. Just not... In the yeah. Summer, no. It just... Yeah. Also, someone said, how do you deal with working in the same industry? Is there jealousy slash... Con <laughs> Slash competition. There could be four people, but I don't think for us. I think that it definitely depends on the type of person that you are mm -hmm. and the reason why you started social media because a lot of people who start and like do social media just for their following and their numbers, yes, jealousy and competition is definitely going to be a thing. That's their main goal. But I think that when we started social media, it wasn't for attention and the numbers, baby AI. Baby L did not start social media for attention and the numbers. Same she way. is humble, a humble queen. A humble queen. I think that when you are doing something in the same industry as a person, you have two options. You can either be happy for them or be jelly, jelly for them. <laughs> or be jealous of them. You literally have two options and you have to pick one and go with it. And it's so much easier and better to be happy for someone and encouraging of them rather than be jealous of their success. Yeah. There, I think that jealousy though, it happens to a it, lot of people. There are things where I'm like, wow, like I wish I could have gotten that sponsorship or something like that. But Me and you day. got sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings. I was so... I, do you remember when I got that deal and I was like, it should be you. <laughs> I, I think that was the only moment in time where I felt a tad bit of jealousy. I was like, you get wings. You get wings. I just remember being like, Alexa played that should be me, but for Lord. <laughs> I think that was the only time. That was a great sponsorship because I have my obsession with it. It really has gone up too. We should get wings. And ranch. I think that waves of jealousy happen. I get moments where I get jealous of people. It, I think that's human nature, but I always take a step back and I'm like, no, genuinely, I'm really happy for them. Even because, even if I want something, doesn't mean they don't deserve it. No, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's that. We got a variety of this question. A lot of people asked, do they think that we'll be roommates in the future? Do they think we'll live in the same state, live in the same? This is Elle playing with her toy. If you were like, what is that? Oh, she's done now? I don't know. But a lot of people will know if we live together, live in the same state. I feel like we definitely live in the same state. We've talked about this before. Yeah, I feel like we need to be next door neighbors. But yeah. we also talked about earlier, we don't think we would do best living in this same like, apartment because we have this almost same We have exact. the exact same job. Yeah. So it's like, I think- We'd be all on- <laughs> We'd be like on top of each other working wise. No, right. And then she made a good point. She was like, our content would be like a carbon copy of yeah. each other because we would literally almost be living the same exact The life. exact same background, the exact same things we're doing. Yeah. We'd be in each other's vlogs. But I feel like we'd be really well to live in the same yeah. building. I think that it would be fine. I mean, I think we would have a fun time living together if yeah. we didn't have the job that we do. I agree. It's hard enough filming and doing stuff yeah, when you have for a roommate. weekend. And yeah, oh, we, oh, yeah. A, a weekend. Like with each other, we're like, we don't want our vlogs to look the exact same but we want to vlog as much as possible mm -hmm. so it's like it shows like how we're kind of different too in our editing styles which i think is fun like whenever mm -hmm. i watch your video i'm like same but different right we're the same person different font yes someone this was like my favorite question what advice would you give to a 16 year old who is trying to discover herself I don't think ever in life you're like, oh, I fully discovered myself. I think who I am now at 22 is completely different than I was at 16. And I think that you're constantly just evolving and figuring out things that make you passionate and going for that. Yeah, I feel like definitely knowing that you're going to change and be okay with change mm -hmm. because a lot of girls try and whether it be like with their body, thinking that like I need to look the same exact way that I did when I was 16. Like obviously your body's yeah. going to go through changes. Your friends might be changing. Relationships are changing. So definitely like being okay with change. I also, because I'm I'm graduating soon and someone gave me this piece of advice and they were like you're going to make mistakes in life and that's okay because that makes you who you are and I was like mm -hmm. yes because I'm like terrified of making mistakes I'm always afraid of doing the wrong thing I guess that's not the same question but I feel like you're always on a journey to discover yourself I don't know if anyone's ever like you can be authentic to yourself but you're constantly changing and figuring out who you want to be and what you like and what you don't like and definitely knowing that discovering yourself might look different than other people yes me discovering myself is going to look different than Keegan discovering herself and like vice versa mm -hmm. you might not be on the same track as everyone else mm -hmm. and your likes and dislikes might be different than other people around you and your journey to that might be i think it's the same thing that you were just saying but your journey to it might be completely different and you might outgrow certain phases and people in your life and, you, and that's okay yeah that's okay it's not a lot horrible. of people are so afraid i mean me too of not necessarily change but of like moving on from a phase of my life because i'm so attached to it even though it's not fulfilling me 
and it's not mm -hmm. benefiting me in any way. Okay, this is this is funny. Someone said, will you guys do another truth or drink video? <laughs> if you guys have not seen it, we did truth or drink video. I'll link it on my channel. The thing about it is, number one, I got really drunk in that video. Number two, <laughs> Number two, we don't really have any tea to spill. That's what I'm saying. And people were, I totally, because as a viewer, like we are YouTubers, yes, but also I view myself as a viewer. Yeah. I, if I watch someone's video, I'm like, they're not really spilling any tea. We just don't really have anything. We didn't really have any tea and to I spill. And I also feel like the first time people do those videos, it's more of like easing your way into it. That was a good point. Yeah. We we had never really, like there are some things that we had never really talked about. Yeah. And there are some things that I would prefer to talk about not drunk. That's when I talk point. about it for the first time. I feel time. like, okay, two things for me. Mm -hmm. When we first did it, we had a bad taste in our mouth. Not literally, well, kind of literally, but like also figuratively. Like the setup was not yeah. good. We had bad lighting. We were on a trip that like... Not the trip was trash. The, the lighting was trash. The lighting was trash, but the trip also like, it wasn't what we had imagined. It was just a lot combined. We weren't in like a comfortable yeah. setting. I feel like if we were in like a comfortable setting, we felt good, like whatever. But then we didn't even have good questions. A lot of them were like the same question over and over also keep in mind we are real people too yeah and i think like yes we are people on the internet but we also have personal lives so we have things that we also have a right for privacy to not talk about certain inappropriate things on the, like there are certain things my mom does not need to know mom i love you i know you're watching this there's some things my mom does not need to know and neither does the rest of the world i feel like if we were to do it again i think that we would be the people to choose the questions yeah and we would be in a more comfortable situation that was also our first times ever drinking on the public internet yeah so it was kind of it it was, it was an interesting experience and it was fun and I think the video was hilarious. I need to go back and watch it. it I think it's funny. <laughs> but I mean, I also spent like 40 million hours editing it so I probably can quote that video word for word. Someone said, are you guys ever going to do another trip with YouTubers like a weekend trip? We really want to. Yeah. Like with a bunch of people. We're trying to plan it but we really haven't done anything to plan it. We've just put feelers out there. Kind of been like, hey, what do you think about mm. this idea? Little feelers. <laughs> Okay, this is the last one, and we always get this question, and I think we should do a different answer to this every time we get asked this. Okay. Our favorite memory together. Mm. There's so many that we can't say. <laughs> I know mine, but I don't know if I would want to say it. I think you should say it. When we were in Montana, this man went up to us. It wasn't anything like weird. He was just talking to us. And then he was wearing a hat. And we later found out like he was- Like a toboggan. Because we were in Montana. Like one of those like hat, like- Oh, oh. yes. Like um, It wasn't a, warm, a baseball hat. Oh, yeah. He was wearing like a hat hat. Keep his head warm. And- <laughs> Everything was fine, like nice guy, right? We later find out that he was bald, and I was like, did we just get hatfished? <laughs> <laughs> we call him Hatfish. That is his name. Well, and it's like I think it was just the fact that we had no idea. I assumed he had. I hair. just assumed that he had. When when we did our stalking and we found out he was bald, I was just like, I. Who did we just talk to? I was like, is he in his forties? It was very confusing. I don't thought he was like around our age, but the fact that he was bald, maybe was he bald by choice? I don't know. The, see, this is things that we didn't know, and. That we needed more information. There's nothing wrong with bald men. Nothing. No. How hey, I think it just took us by surprise when we found out. I, we, I was expecting a full head of hair. Like brown. I, I like was expecting brown, brown hair. Like a brunette. Yeah. yeah. We got half fished. I feel like my favorite memory to go along with that. So he got our number. So. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> he had gotten our number somehow, some way, we don't know how. And it was a group chat because he was like, oh, like, have a great night, have a good time in Montana. I thought we had, like, blocked the number. I somehow was trying to send a TikTok to Keegan and sent the TikTok to Hatfish and Keegan. And then she immediately blocked him because she thought that blocking him would prevent him from seeing the text that she already sent. And he was like, lol. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I hope y'all are doing great. I was like, and it was kind of like a, a depressy TikTok. It was a depressy TikTok. I'm like, what if Hatfish thinks I'm depressy? Well, he doesn't have hair, so he Hatfish, we Catfish. Yeah, amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are the questions that we have. Watch the rest on Lauren's link down below. Look at our aesthetic croissants in the sunlight. Pop off. They're cute. Yeah. We just finished the Q&A on Lauren's channel, so go watch it. But we're going to make some like drinks and just like hang out and like have a little a little night. Yeah, we're going to get ready for the night and actually look kind of cutie, so I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, guys, we are making drinks. This is a drink that we got in Montana. Hannah, and so I really hope that we make it well. We got all the ingredients. So, an ounce and a half of tequila, and we're gonna do two drinks in one shaker glass. Good job. It's hard to get my left hand. 
We're doing 818. Kenny, we love you. Kenny. Except for, I keep seeing TikToks of people saying that she's mean. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I spilled. It's okay. And this, this stove top has been through a lot today. It has been. And then we'll just do a full ounce of this because it's two halves. Mm -hmm, for that, watermelon? Yeah. So one and a half ounces of tequila, half an ounce of watermelon pucker, which we had no idea what watermelon pucker was until, it's hard that I'm using my left hand. Maybe I should. Yeah, why, <laughs> why am I? Switch it over, girl. Switch it over. And then we fill the rest with sour and seven up. So we're yeah. going to shake this. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Do let go. Okay. That's beautiful. Wow. It's like kind of glittery. So Lauren has edible glitter. Obviously so edible. you know what we're doing. Just do, do yeah, like a little bit. Perfect. Beautiful. And then get, oh. <laughs> Okay. Why is everything exploding on us in my vlog today? Dude, I don't know. Okay. Give ready? her a good shake. Pop, pop, pop. Pop to the top. Flip inside and I got it Wait. Oh, oh my. Okay, so then we'll get little ice cubes for this. Oh, you really thought it all through. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, yeah. Half and half. So we're gonna do. Now, the thing is, I don't know how much to like go sour and like the. Sour. It just said spill it out. Okay, so. The rest of the way. Okay. And then the sour. I'm making it. Maybe a little more. I like sour. Sour is like what makes margaritas really good. Okay. And then do we. Yeah, we're gonna whirl it. We're gonna whirl it. Whirl. No pressure. This one's gonna be on camera. Yeah, this is like a big deal. Oh, also, I love these glasses. I got them in Dallas. So cute. Okay. Oh my god, old school YouTuber. What are we cheersing? Cheers to you guys for being the reason we're friends. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. This is it. I'll put it in the description for you, but this is cheers to you. Cheers to you. We love you. Ladies and gentlemen, a time lapse of us eating cheese. Good morning, you guys. Today is Sunday. Today is actually the day that I'm leaving. I'm really sad about it. I don't know if you can hear my voice. My allergies are at an all-time high. I am so sad to be leaving. I just packed up my suitcase and we have to leave for Birmingham in about two hours because that's where the airport is. Last night was really fun. I'm so sad to be leaving. I told Lauren, I was like, should I update my vlog really quickly? And she was like, oh my gosh, yes, me too. You go in one room, I'll go in the other and we'll both talk to our vlog. So here we are. We're about to get some lunch. We're about to get some sushi. Last time I was here, our like, I always call it last supper, the last like meal that we have together. We got sushi. So it just felt like right to get sushi today. But I'm very sad to be leaving. I don't want to go home. I'm going to miss it here. I'm going to miss Lauren and I'm getting sad about it already and I haven't even left yet, but that is a little update for right now, but today is going to be mostly a travel day. So... We're back from sushi. I think we're in a food coma. Let, oh. We didn't even eat that much, but we are both so tired that we are like struggling to hold a conversation. I don't even think I have had a conversation. But yeah, I can barely keep my eyes open. So we might be, in, but we didn't even need that much food to be in a food coma. Yeah, but we eat rice. We're just really tired. What a shame it would be if I slept through my flight. Like, hmm, hmm, so weird. Wow, I wonder how that happened. Wow. Goodbye, baby girl. The fact that she's literally in a box right now. What? What? <laughs> okay, bye. I'll miss you. This sucks. We don't want to do this. Do you need help getting the suitcase? What? Because it's actually me that's leaving. What? Remember 311. All liquid gel and aerosol. I'm gonna put the sunglasses on and act like I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs>